All right, FAQ number 95. What about the agape phileo myth? If you haven't heard of this one, uh, you will hear of it eventually. You will be told that a certain portion of your King James Bible is inferior to the Greek. And you need to have understanding of Greek to be able to, uh, you know, really expound this passage. Let's look at the passage. The book of John, chapter 21, verses 15 through 17. I'll we'll read here. It says, So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, remember that number, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, feed my sheep. Now the great Greek expositor pastors will come out and they will say, see, the English isn't very clear here because this is a different two different Greek words. You have agape and phileo. There's agape love and there's phileo love. And Jesus was, you know, using the friendly, you know, Peter thought he was using the friendly love, but it was more of a deeper love and, and you know, the phileo and the, the agape and all this. And, and they, they make you feel like, oh, well, wow, the English text isn't really all that clear here and isn't as good as the Greek would be, you know, and it's all nonsense. It's all a lie. But you say, what's really going on here? Well, um, what did Peter say to Jesus before he was crucified? He said, uh, though all men deny thee, I won't. You know, basically, I'm paraphrasing there a little bit. And what did Jesus say? Before the cock crow three times, or yeah, three times, you're going you're gonna to deny me. You know, and uh, or before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Excuse me. And so how many times did Peter deny Jesus? Three times? Uh, how many times did Jesus say, feed my sheep? Three times? Jesus Christ was making a sarcastic point to Peter. You denied me three times, so I'm going to say it three times so it gets through that thick skull of yours, Peter. You know? That's what Jesus Christ was doing. But I'm going to show you a good answer here. You can get this book. I talked about this. This is one that you should have if you want to understand the King James uh, issue. This is one of the best. The Answer Book by Dr. Sam Gipp. And you can get this thing through chick.com. I'm not making any money by sending you over there, so don't get excited. Um, but, you know, this is the first book I had on the Bible version issue, and this thing answered almost every question that was thrown at me from the new version, you know, the Alexandrian perverts that are out there. And right here in the back, appendix number one, page 162, uh, agape versus phileo. Okay, comparison how Jesus used agape and phileo. Uh, now, I'm going to read here uh, just a couple things. And uh, they say that there's a difference between agape and phileo. So you have Luke chapter 11, verse 42 says the love of God. Um, John chapter 5, verse 42 says the love of God. Matthew 10, verse 37 says, He that loveth father or mother. Uh, Revelation 3, 9 says, To know that, that I have loved. Uh, Revelation 3, 19, As many as I love. Uh, Matthew 23, verse 6. Love the uppermost rooms. And it goes down through here. And the point is, uh, the first two there are agape. The, sec the third one is uh, phileo. Then it goes agape, then phileo for the next three, and then agape, and then phileo for the next two. But the point is, you, you actually look at when agape and phileo show up, uh, these two different Greek words, there's no this, this distinction that these people try to make that one is friendly love and the other is more of a deeper, more intimate love. That's not there. That whole thing is a lie. Um, they try to do this thing to get you to think that you need to go to Greek and, and Hebrew and things to understand the King James Bible, and the King James Bible is not good enough. The agape phileo thing is a total myth. Okay, those words are used interchangeably. Uh, this trying to say that one means the friendly and one means the more intimate, it's not even true. Um, there are many times where, you're, where certain Greek words can be translated multiple different ways. And things. So, it, again, there's such an agenda 
out there to take you away from just reading the King James Bible and understanding it and believing it. You don't need anything but a King James Bible. Okay, You don't need Greek texts like these things over here. If you've seen our other FAQ on that, you know, which one do I recommend? You don't need Greek. Okay, You don't need to study Hebrew and things like that unless you're a Jewish person yourself and you speak Hebrew. Then study Hebrew. That's fine. But this whole thing of trying to teach you that this isn't enough. You need to go over to Greek and you need to go to Hebrew and all this other stuff. It's nonsense. Okay, don't fall for that. Uh, there is no Greek nugget there with agape and phileo. That is a myth. 